Hi family. I'm very, very happy to be in front of you guys. You'll notice we are horizontal. We are officially YouTubing it. I'm not trying to be gross, but your girl needs to pay her health insurance. So I gotta start thinking about things like that. Can you just, you got health insurance too, bro. It's true, all the cats have health insurance. Anyways, my point is I wanted to get in front of you guys today and first and foremost say thank you. Um, the amount of you that have cheer-led me, that have sent private messages, that have just reached out in one form or another just to either check on me and make sure I'm okay, to share your experience. There are fortunately so many of you that are also sharing in the experience of going through a divorce or getting laid off from a job. So, yes, I'm right there with you guys, but it it makes me feel not alone, and I'm, I'm really incredibly grateful for that, and I'm incredibly grateful to have this army behind me because, I mean, essentially, I mean, you guys have given me like a little startup to really make this my life. Working for Kinkatopia has always been my goal. I have never, ever drawn a paycheck from Kinkatopia. My time is completely volunteered. It's my time, it's my space, it's my knowledge, it's my body, it's my everything. I have sacrificed for this organization. Um, I've, I've invested, I should say, I've invested for this organization just like you guys have invested. And now I am set forth with this, this road in front of me um, where I am. I am going to try it for a little bit. Now I am so... <laughs> I'm faced with the pressures of the hardships that I'm going through. So I'm going through a lot of emotions and not feeling creative is one of them. So what I'll be relying on is my honesty. I've always been authentic with you guys. I will continue to be authentic. Um, I'm okay. God willing in March, which is just next month, which is crazy. I'll celebrate seven years sober. We we together will celebrate seven years sober. So I'm going to do these things. I'm going to get through the things. I'm going to get through the things and I'm going to stay sober. Okay. Because if I can, you can, because we're doing it together. So, um, everything here is, is peaceful. It's moving along, you know, um, like, uh, it's, it's an amicable situation. It's just a very sad situation. Um, I've been going through a lot of emotions, a lot of grief, of course, Lily passed away. I mean, the divorce, I, I like knew, you know, I knew. And then the job was a complete surprise. So um, yeah, I was hit pretty heavily, I will say. I will also say that you guys aren't gonna argue with me when I tell you that the past like year and a half to two years has been really, really, really rough. And I need to revamp myself. I need this organization to grow in ways where it can self-sustain and I can, well, it, it does self-sustain. It, it has self-sustained for years and that's because of you guys, but like I need to be able to, it needs to sustain in a way that I can have a bit of a life outside of this. Um, I need to explore myself. I need to find new hobbies like, you know, nature walks, just, ugh, I could just go on and on, but there's a lot of reflection and a lot of finding myself that I need to do um, because I've lost a lot of sight of my self-worth, um, my confidence, um, femininity. So yeah, I got, I got a lot to explore. Maybe you guys will see me do some videos and address and stuff, but I intend to share my journey respectfully, of course, because obviously as going through this divorce, I'm, I'm not the only person going through it. So, you know, I want to remain extremely, extremely respectful of Michael. Um, you know, so as I have shared, Michelle will be moving in. So my COO and one of my best friends will be moving in here. Um, and she and I are going to take on the house. So everything's going to stay the same. All the animals are here. Um, nothing changes for the animals. And honestly, that is like first and foremost, the most important thing to me. There is one animal too. Well, Brandy, Brandy's going to go with Michael, but, um, there, uh, Orlando, we're working out the legality issues with Artegu. So unfortunately we are hitting some hiccups with him, but I will make sure that he, he finds a safe new residence. Um, that's just unfortunately 
an F up in the legislature. So thank you, Fish and Wildlife. Anyways, um, that's something we're dealing with. But um, yeah, yeah, I um, need a little bit of time for my brain to heal, I guess is what I'm saying. Um, so, but I have, um, I do have a package here from Rhiannon, who is a very, very dear friend. I mean, you guys, when I say that I do have closer, you know, relationships with you guys, I really do. They're so, I'm just so, so, so lucky that I have gotten the opportunity to know those of you that I have over the years that we have, um, well, just truly connect, truly connected, truly connected. So, okay, let's see. Now, she told me this is going to be sad. I'm going to guess it has to do with, with Lily and Lily. Oh my gosh, guys, I still need to do, I need to do like my Lily tribute video. Um, I am so out of touch with that death. I, I am like, Ariel hasn't even been gone six months. It'll be six months in, oh my God, it'll be six months tomorrow because it was August. It'll be six months tomorrow that I lost. You know, I've been thinking, <clears throat> let's get real for a minute. And like, I've been thinking to myself, and actually I was asked last night when the last true time was that I can like think of that I was like really, really happy. And um, I'm getting hoarse. The first, the first things that come up in my mind are memories with Ariel. Um, I know Ariel came and then the bees came right after, but um, you know, we started talking about divorce coincidentally the same month that, that Ariel came into my life. Um, which was September of 22. So yeah, that sucks. That sucks. I love that little creature so much and she made me so happy. And now she is with Lily. She's taking care of Lily, Evie, everyone. So I know, I know, like I know I have a purpose. There are all these beautiful birds that are flying in the sky right now. I have a purpose. I have a purpose. Like, I know without a shadow of a doubt that this, this is, this is where I'm supposed to be at this minute. And it's just a hard pill to swallow. But it, it, this, this time, I compare this time to when I got sober. Like that, that pain, those fears, the emotional rawness. I mean, like, I'm like even a, ba I'm a basket case when I'm out in public, I don't feel safe. Um, I don't feel safe in crowds. Like I just, because I am so incredibly sensitive and I've been in fight or flight for so freaking long that like, if someone's just going to rub me the wrong way and I'm just going <laughs> to like, I pity the person. God, I pity the person, but mm. Rhiannon. Oh, I know what this is. I know what it is just by seeing this. So I know it's going to be Lily. I love these. Oh my God. I love these. I love Ariel's. I'm so sorry for your loss. She signs things. You sign it Rhea. So I apologize. I know you as Rhiannon. So my mom knows you as Rhiannon too. Oh, I guess I should be showing you guys, sorry. I will get better at this. I promise I will get better with this. I'm honestly just scared shitless right now. I'm trying to let you guys know where I'm at and like, I guess I'm trying to have a heartbeat. The way that I look at it with these, these medias is that like you post every day, you post a couple times a day, you have a presence, you have a heartbeat, you have a heartbeat. And I'm really just trying to keep my heartbeat going with you guys. So yeah, I might over post, I might, I don't know, do cheesy things. I don't know, but just know it's because I'm floundering and I'm scared shitless. It's true. Oh. And this is a picture that you chose. Never shall I forget the days I spent with you.
Thank you so much. Um, Lily is being cremated. In fact, I'm surprised it's taken so long to get her back, but we do a private cremation. Oh, shit. I hope I get her back this week because on Saturday I have my tattoo appointment with her. So, I mean, I'll still get the tattoo regardless. It just, whether it has her ashes in it or not, but she, her ashes will be in it. So I will always do that and we will create a spot for her with this. I haven't even brought myself to take her, her name tag down. So, yeah. So there's this, and then I'm freaking out, like, should I get some fancy camera? And, like, if I don't do this YouTube stuff right, if I don't do this right, I mean, who does it right right off the bat? <laughs> oh, it's a blessing. I'm just scared. It's a lot of pressure. It's just so much going on. Like, one second, I'll be absolutely fine, and I'll feel like I can take on the world, and then the next, I'm just, like, I can't even make sense of words, you know? So. Yay! But I keep telling myself that I'm not alone, I'm not alone, I'm not alone. Even in my deepest, deepest moments, if I really wanted to, I could just jump on live and I'm there with people. So, you know... And I've got really incredible close people in my life. And I, it is, that's the thing. There's so many. I'm like so, 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 so lucky. that it's like, part of me feels like I shouldn't even feel this way. Because I have so much gratitude. And I, I have an army. And some people don't. And like. This is like a really hard world to navigate through. Especially as a people pleaser, because how am I supposed to make all of you happy? And I'm not, and I know that that's completely unrealistic, but like, <laughs> right now, like, I mean, you guys were my everything before, and now you're even more so my everything. You guys help me process stuff. Oh. So, in closing, although I know I got some good stuff there. Um, Rhiannon, I love you so much. This means the world to me. Um, in closing, we're going to do this together. <laughs> Um, please, I mean, I'll always add in closing with anything, uh, it'd be so helpful if people joined my Patreon. I have tiers for $3, $4, $5, hold on, I'm dropping things, um, and literally, it's just like a little monthly donation, and I have my private news feed in there, um, people on Patreon knew about my divorce, and they, they, you know about things in real time, um, and stuff like that. Hopefully no more catastrophes are coming our way, but if there's anything that's important, it's in there. Um, I'd already started. We already hired an amazing girl to start working on um, our website. So like, I know I talked about that last year, but it was a volunteer project this time. Like it, it has funding, it'll get done. Now I'll really be able to focus on it. You know, I wanna focus on education. I have a Zoom, a Zoom, um, account you know let's freaking i wonder if i could i could do like a, a live stream that you guys buy into and we could do like a private private um live stream things like that um but you know i'm gonna be looking for ideas and things that you guys would like to you guys would like to see and you guys would like to invest in something you guys would like to get for you know so um yeah, I'll keep making cute animal videos. I promise, I promise. So in closing, like I said, you know, I'm here finding myself 
and I don't have to do it alone. So um, we're all gonna find me. <laughs> 2024, finding the mother of Kinkajous. I love you guys. I love you guys so much. Be good to yourselves.